Tonight, a highly critical federal report is confirming what many T riders have believed for a very long time that the MBTA is a mess. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. The safety experts say the T has too few workers, staff that's overwhelmed, not enough worker training, and that the team made new equipment a priority while ignoring maintenance on its older trains. Christina Rex is live in Boston with what is being done now to fix these problems. Christina? Yeah, Lisa, this report that was released is 90 pages long, and it issues more than 20 directives to help fix the T, but it stops short at a federal takeover. Now, we read the whole thing to figure out what you need to know now and for the future of the T. A scathing report of the MBTA. No and no. Came as a surprise to many of the T's regular riders. What did they find? A month long investigation by the Federal Transit Administration reveals major safety concerns. The best time to have started making changes was years ago. The second best time is today. In the past, the report says, are years of built up issues, including a failure to fix past federal recommendations, a pattern of treating major safety issues as one off freak accidents, and a lack of communication from the bottom up. I hope so. I hope it raises alarm bells sort of at the highest level. And today, the T has a too small, exhausted workforce. Still, that lack of communication looms, and an allegation from the feds that the MBTA has prioritized major expansion projects at the expense of everyday rider safety. I mean, that's not great. Among the list of incidents of late, a major green line crash, an orange line fire, and the death of a red line rider. Obviously a, uh, a, a, a challenging day for us here at the MBTA. So what's next? The MBTA has a deadline next month to release its plans to fix the problems. The governor has now allotted an additional $200 million safety budget for the T. And if none of this works, the T could face a federal takeover. Uh, a lot of it is strikingly similar to uh, some of the issues that uh, that the, they found for the, the D.C. transit system. It's only happened one other time when the FTA took over the Washington, D.C. metro because of critical safety and oversight issues. The result? What started in 2015 is still, you know, we're, we're still feeling the effects of what came out of that seven years later. Uh, and the, the end is not, uh, it's not, there's no short-term uh, end in sight. The FTA warned that we could have the same situation here in greater Boston since it took so many years to create these problems for the T. It will likely take a lot of years to fix them as well. And the FTA warns riders to be patient while the T fixes itself to become more safe. Live at the Cleveland Circle Station, Christina Rex, WBZ News.